welcome to another video review here at Colorado Cycling and thank you for joining us. We're going to review today the Pegoretti round. Uh, I know you have been following our snippets that we have been posting on Instagram and other social media channels so I want to thank you for joining us today. As always I'm going to ask you to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more video reviews and we're going to take a look at the Pegoretti round. First, I would like to go and talk about a little bit about the Pegoretti brand itself and who in fact was the Rio Pegoretti and where the brand uh, came about. So let's take a look at that and we'll be right back. So a brief history of the Rio Pegoretti. Uh, the Rio Pegoretti was an amazing craftsman and artisan frame builder that apprenticeship under his father-in-law, Luigino Milani, which was in turn one of the most renowned frame builders uh, ever. Uh, Dario himself, he became famous during the 1980s while working with his father-in-law. And then in the 1990s, when he began to do his own thing, um, mixing different techniques with art and having his own spin to what we call today the, the Rio Pegoretti brand. Uh, what's important about the brand for us today is that each um, bicycle that Pegoretti produces is uh, a work of art. It's unique, it's handmade, it has uh, that unique sentiment behind the artisan and the craftsman who built the frame and then painted that frame uh, with a motif that has in turn uh, its own history and story behind it as we will see with the uh, with the round that we're about to review. Uh, unfortunately Dario passed away in 2018 but he left a plethora of frames that are still rolling out there that are considered pieces of art um, each one unique each one with uh, a story behind it and i'm sure for those of you who own a pegoretti bike uh, will understand this and or have seen a pegoretti bike somewhere can imagine um, the the importance of it um, one thing I would say uh, about the Rio Pegoretti, this is not uh, a vintage bike. If you're buying a bike today or you're considering to get a Pegoretti frame, it is not a vintage bike. Um, it is, it has a vintage style to it, if you want to call it that, because it is made of stainless steel in the case of the round. Um, and it is, a material that is not commonly used today on um, frames because everything has become a carbon fiber crazy um, but the bike itself or the engineer behind these frames it is a modern bike it is a modern um, piece of equipment there and you're going to be surprised of how well this this bike handles and it's comfortable and it has all this uh, performance features that you come to expect on a modern bike today so uh, going back to the rio his uh, workshop or bottega as you as you see it called on their website uh, which means you know a workshop in italian um, lives by his motto of fate con le mani which in italian it means um, handmade or made by or made with the hands uh, more uh, literally translated and you can definitely see those hands at work on each frame that you get from the Rio Pegoretti. So let's take a closer look at this uh, Pegoretti br uh, round. If you have any questions about the brand I urge you to go to their website they have a ton of information there about the artist itself, the Rio, his history, the craftsmanship behind each frame. You can see uh, what are the features of all these uh, different frames they produce and kind of uh, legacy of, of the Dario Pegoretti brand. Uh, I ur also urge you to go to our own website if you want to see some of the, some of the models that we are offering. And um, more importantly, 
if you go to Instagram and view uh, search hashtag Pegoretti bikes or Pegoretti bicycles, you're gonna see uh, a ton of images of people all over the world that have Pegoretti bicycles and their unique builds that they do. And each one is more beautiful than the other one. So without further ado, let's jump into this uh, build review and we'll talk a little bit more about the Pegoretti round. All right, so we took care of that brief history there about the Rio Pegoretti. So we're gonna jump right in into the Pegoretti round right behind me. Uh, so this model, the round, is the latest uh, model produced by the Rio Pegoretti. It's in fact a stainless steel bike, which I hinted during the um, history portion and during my reviews. Um, the main uh, issue or the main significance of being stainless steel is that for years uh, Pegoretti fans have been trying to get Pegoretti to make a stainless steel uh, frame based on their Marcello uh, frame. So the Marcello has been one of the most successful uh, Pegoretti frames. It's a steel frame and in fact that was the one I was uh, aiming to get for myself and you know chances are that i got a hold to the uh, of this round which i find uh, a much better um, situation for me because i'm in florida and with the humidity here i don't have to treat this frame with frame saver um, because this is stainless steel frame so the main significance of this uh, bike here we're going to take a closer look uh, in a minute is the tubing is all etcr columbus tubing uh crafted by the capable uh hands of the pegoretti family there uh, and a first for pegoretti are the stainless steel 3d printed dropout so we're going to take a closer look there and uh kind of a stronger different style brake bridge uh, rear triangle to get you more lateral stiffness so from my test ride the other day, I would say the bike it is super stiff. It holds the line incredibly well and it recovers from those curves and tracks incredibly well. The bike is super stiff, but, but again, it's super comfortable. The paint job itself is called the Texas Flood. Uh, it was based on, uh, on a musician, uh, from the city of Austin, Texas, called Stevie Ray Vaughan. I don't know if you can hear the music playing, but it's actually, that's uh, that's Texas Flood playing in the background. Uh, so Dario loved that artist, and this uh, paint job here is uh, in honor of that uh, friendship there. Um, so we're gonna go see um, the frame and the bike uh, at a closer view. Um, it's kind of hard to see from this distance here, but I'm gonna give you an overview first. We have Fulcrum Racing Zero carbon wheels. Um, we have a full chorus, um, Campagnolo chorus 12 speed mechanical. And we are pairing this with uh, Deta Super Legera cockpit and Super Zero um, seat post there. Uh, let's get a closer look at it and I'll talk more about the different features. All right, here we are at a close-up look at this Pegoretti round built. We're going to start with the drivetrain. We're going to go uh, take a little bit of a closer look at the paint scheme here. And we're going to finish out with the cockpit uh, and, and the saddle there. So let's jump right in. Um, Tri train, as I mentioned, is a 2021 20, Campagnolo Chorus 12 speed, which I would say is the first one, the first Campagnolo bike that I actually own, which uh, I can totally get how people that ride Campagnolo won't ride anything else. It is an amazing um, group set. I was super stoked to ride it and i don't know if, if the fact that it's paired with this amazing bike uh, made it even better but i'm very very happy with the performance of it 
Um, I only been in a couple of mellow rides, so I haven't had a chance to actually um, put it to the test with some power. But uh, you know, it's just smoothness, and the thing that I like the most are the grips. Oh my God, those are incredibly comfortable. So I, um, if you've been following my videos, uh, most of our bikes have been SRAM equipped with the latest Atsis system. These Campagnolo shifters are amazingly ergonomic and super, super comfortable. So kudos to Campy there. And I, I am a convert, so I will be um, putting some Campy on some, um, on some of my bikes uh, soon. So let's uh, get back to this now. So you can see amazing rear derailleur here and uh, 12 speed cassette. Um, these are the stainless steel dropouts that are 3D printed, so they're super nice looking, um, very seamless uh, integration there. The welds on this thing are just ridiculously non-existent. Um, it, it, it's just, you can see the, the years of perfection and quality of craftsmanship that is being put to this to this frame here. I find something cool here that it's, you know, you can see, I don't know if you can focus here. So it says handmade in Italia, uh, San Camilo 2020. So this is a 2020 frame built during COVID by the capable hands of uh, the Pegoretti uh, family of craftsmen. Um, Oh, I wanted to talk about a little bit, not too much to deter from the frame, but a little bit about the wheels. These are also a first for me, the Fulcrum Carbon Zeros. What an amazing wheel set. Um, I would say that over the years, I never thought of Fulcrum wheels um, too much. You, you and, and some of you are probably in the same boat. We see Fulcrum wheels um pretty much lower to mid-spec uh, OEM bikes with, you know, this, you know, non fancy, but, you know, durable uh, aluminum wheels and not, don't don't have anything uh, in particular or, or special about them. But when you get into the actual fulcrum wheel offering, the, this is the second wheel I've tried. I have actually the aluminum version of this with the Competizione bearings, which are ceramic bearings. Uh, that wheel was an eye opener. And then that what that's what pushed me to put these wheels on the Pecoretti, uh, which in turn have been even better than those. So I urge you guys to look into this fulcrum uh, wheel offering and and just you know try them out because I think most of us are are putting off an, an amazing brand and amazing quality wheels uh, just because we have been um, kind of chug those low-end aluminum wheels with the Fulcrum brand on it so this is definitely uh, a great wheel, great wheel for climbing. Uh, I love shallow wheels, so I, that's why I went with this, with these wheels here uh, in Florida, which we don't have any hills, like you know, um, but it, it rolls super, super smooth. Fulcrum is a company very, very close to Campagnolo, if not made by them, very close. Um, so it's an option to those that have Campy, or you know Shimano or SRAM or whatever whatever else you you want to go there. So let's take another look here, and this is the rear triangle, very straightforward, very laterally stiff as they advertise it. Uh, super 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 good uh, when it goes into. Um, taking high speed curves and you know granted i only been in a couple of mellow rides but i i made it a point to take pretty aggressive turns and see how the bike responded the bike tracks amazingly well it recovers from the from those curves you know amazing and then when you put power on the recovery it just shoots forward like nothing you ever seen. So it doesn't have so much of that springy feel that traditional steel frames are known for. 
and I was talking to a buddy of mine that has been riding steel frames for a lot longer and he was alluding to probably the stainless steel portion of it is it makes it a little bit less springy so just fyi there you can chime in if you have a steel frame what your thoughts are my thoughts on this i didn't feel so much of the springy uh, movement from the bottom bracket area maybe when i take it on some more demanding rise i will feel that but it's you know it was solid it was completely stiff and responds like any of my other bikes if not better than some um so you know as you can see the geometry is pretty traditional in the sense of pretty uh, straight lines there you can see that the down tube is almost at the same angle of that seat stay there so it's kind of kind of cool to see the geometric factor playing a role there uh if i sit on the bike a little bit further back uh that i would normally uh, feel on the bike i don't know if it's a feeling or if the actual you know the the measurements match with the position i'm used to riding but it just it just tracks a lot better so i'm gonna do a little bit more uh studying on the position i'm riding on this bike and see if i can translate into my other bikes but this is this felt really really nice uh, we're gonna come and take a quick look at the front here so you can see how the head badge which is one of my favorite features on the pegoretti looks like uh, it's kind of like a hand symbol there and i'm going to turn the bike around because the color scheme is a little bit different on the other side in a minute um here we have the the fork and it has a carbon fiber fork manufactured by pegoretti as well which is something that um, they started doing not too long ago because in the previous years they would they were using an aftermarket fork manufacturer so they they said heck we are building everything in-house we're going to build the fork we're going to build it our own way and design it uh, in our own um, need the each pack of ready frame comes with a chris king d11 uh, headset which is um, as you know super good quality there so no no comments or complaints about the Chris King headset. Uh, I love those uh, skeleton um, brakes there, and this is the front wheel for that Fulcrum Racing Zero. Uh, quick look at the Ergo levers I was uh, rambling so much about, super comfortable. Um, those of you who are Shimano and SRAM fans, uh, you know, I urge you to try can be on a second bike and see how you like it it is it is uh super super comfortable and the, the 12 speed newer drivetrains are super smooth and flawless shifting very very nice um super legera cockpit here try to make it uh, try to make it as as light as possible on this build with uh all Italian parts. Very skinny stem here. This is actually a 110 stem and a 44 millimeter or 44 centimeter bar. That uh, um, bar tape here, which I actually I actually like. This is also a first for me. Very very good bar tape. We actually started stocking some of this bar tape on uh, in the shop. And as we move back, the Super Zero. 31.6 uh, seat post, which was kind of a surprise for me. I thought it was 30.9 when I first got the frame and it turned turned out to be a 31.6, which I'm traditionally not a fan of, but um, in this uh, particular case, I think it, it contributes to how well the ride, uh, the ride is with this frame. The saddle here and uh, sad to say i wasn't i wasn't gonna go with this saddle this is actually a backhead saddle that i have i've been 
talking about these saddles for a couple of videos now. I've been riding these saddles for many, many years. I keep going back to the Salitalia SLR. This is a titanium rail saddle. I was originally going to put a Regal Salazar Marco, which was brown. I was gonna go with a different cockpit. So I kept the saddle. I didn't like the way it looked with the brown. I couldn't find a bar tape that matched it. And I think I'm just gonna wait and see if I uh, switch to um, the black version of that brown saddle. If I do, I'll, I'll shoot some pictures out on Instagram with the new saddle uh, there. So I'm gonna cut here really quick. I'm gonna turn the bike around just so you can see the other side of the paint scheme. And we'll be right, right back. So to finalize here, this is the opposite side of the round. And so you can see a slightly different paint scheme here. I'm gonna try to zoom in and see if we can see some of the details here. It's kind of like, it's kind of almost the gray part. It's kind of almost like if it was scraped, um, but you can see kind of like the brush strokes of the paint there. Very, very, uh, Texas, if I might add, it just kind of reminds me of kind of very cow cowboyish uh, type of uh, paint there. Um, you know, I, it's hence the name Texas Flood, I guess. Uh, you know, although we already talked about where the Texas Flood came from, um, but I think it just allude, alludes to that uh, kind of cowboy Texas feel that you would get there. Kind of almost uh, looks like um, those, you know, cowboy boots that you wear uh, out west. In any case, um, just this last quick look here at the non-drive side of the bike and this is pretty much it on the Pegoretti round. We'll be posting some updates on Instagram, so I urge you to follow us there for some uh, some more updates on, on, on the progress of how this bike responds. And I am so glad that I got it. This has become one of my favorite bikes, and I think it's something I'm going to keep uh, for a very, very long time, if not forever, because if I end up, you know, dismantling it, I'm probably gonna keep that frame uh, as a art piece uh, in my house. Uh, just a really quick look here at how the the folks at Pegoretti package the bike or the frame set, and you get kind of this really cool envelope here with the Rio Pegoretti's logo, and as you pull it out, you get this ownership car really really cool very very classy very artsy and on the reverse you get the round and your serial number so thank you for purchasing your pegoretti round uh, very nice gesture i wish more companies did something like that uh it it, it just speaks how a family uh family oriented um brand just you know per, you know performs and gives you quality in every way in any case thank you so much for joining us today have a great evening please don't forget to subscribe leave us your comments questions or concerns in the comment section we do our best to respond in a timely manner and if you have any specific questions or you would like to get a pack already going they also have a Chiavete program which is a custom paint program that we can talk about um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis um, thank you and have a great night